first off, start by telling me about your character in this film. Ron Woodruff. Man with a seventh grade education, two bit wild ass cowboys, <laughs> electrician, slash part time bull rider. Don't leave your wallet sitting around because he'll probably steal something <laughs> from it. A womanizing, fun hell raising son of a bitch who's heterosexual and gets HIV, given 30 days to live. Guy becomes a scientist of HIV, um, leaves the borders and goes out amongst the world to go out and research and bring back anything he can. And he's not only bringing it back to just survive, he wants to go make him some money. Yeah. So he's got a bit of Scarface to him too. Businessman who unknowingly becomes an activist as well um, without ever sort of consciously raising that flag and saying, I'm the leader. He, he kind of Dave, you, we followed him, you follow his life and he, and, he, and he becomes that without even really knowing it. You just described him so well. When you read this story, what was it initially about him that made you really want to play this character? Well, he was a great anti-hero, a great anti-hero who, and what you get, what, I'm enjo what I enjoy about an anti-hero is you don't have to abide by society's laws. Actually, they're outside the law or they butt the law in the face, they butt the governor in the face, they butt the parent, parental guidance in the face, they do it their own way. And that means where they're the rule breakers and they make up their own rules, they're usually on the run from something or ducking or diving something and have to live a little either on the outskirts of society or go right up the middle, which a version of Ron going right up the middle is selling memberships, not selling the drugs. He used the system and a loophole in the system to, to beat the system. Um, and this this fact that this guy, he, he, he really only found purpose in his life when he got HIV. He found the one thing that he could grab a hold of and fight for every single day, every minute of the day. Um, and he was never going to lay down and go, whoa, be me. You know, I'm going to, he was not going to fade away. Um, and what did he do, if you look at the film, or what I think his legacy would be? He's just, he's a guy who I think shook the tree enough to where it's possible that, that, that the FDA has approved certain drugs that have worked for HIV sooner than maybe they would have. Because he was a bit of a thorn in their side. Enough where they wanted to shut him down and keep him quiet. Yeah. You know? That's what I liked about him. He never stopped. Mm -mm. Now, I mean, when you see the film, obviously, your physical transformation was unbelievable. Talk to me a little bit about how you sort of transformed into Ron. Physically? Yeah, physically. That was all diet and giving myself four months to do it. And uh, it was diet. I talked with two nutritionists, did my research, found out what don't do, what not to do. There are many options on how to do it, but there was quite a few things on what not to do. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I just committed to it, and I had the support of my family and my, my wife, and I ate controlled meals, and I didn't go have meetings at my favorite steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Until the end of the movie, anyway. And I had my cheeseburger. Um, with the physical transformation, because there were, you know, in, even the opening scene where you're at the rodeo and you're hopping over a fence running away from guys, was it hard to do it at, at such a thin Well, weight? that particular <laughs> scene, and I'm a runner in real life, and yeah. that particular scene, I hadn't exercised in four months and I stretched because I knew I'd, it was a short run but I knew I had to run. I made it 20 feet and my thighs just <laughs> locked up and I just boom my legs buckled and I went down I went cut cut <laughs> and uh, the 15 cowboys right behind me right before I'd run I was like try and get me if you can and I said when you get me don't half ass it well I had to go cut because they were still coming to get me <laughs> and now I had to hop up and say I had no idea that my legs were gonna lock up like that and it just they just hadn't been used like that so that was a long day, yeah. and I was more exercise, and I was sore after that day for a while, which was funny because four months earlier, I could have done that five thousand times in a row, yeah, and, and not been sore. But it, the body, the human body, is incredibly resilient, and I was never for fear that it, something was going to be, you know, wrong for any long term. Right now, aside from the physical transformation, what were some of the challenges about playing Ron? The challenges were, um, one thing that was important to me was to maintain this anarchic spirit, that this guy was an SOB, that this guy was a real bastard and a real badass and a real selfish son of a bitch. Maintain that. Mm -hmm. 
and not fear that we're going to lose the humanity. Not fear that no one would ever sympathize, as someone might say. Not fear that. Trust him. You stay, stay, stay on track with this guy of who he really is and keep him a businessman. Keep him a businessman. Don't have him in the middle going, well, no, I want to help everybody out. Uh-uh. Yeah. Just keep him a businessman. Keep him liking his gold and his Cadillac. That the humanity will come out of that. And John Mark and I got on the same page about that, and we checked in every week about it, but we said we got to trust it. And, I, and I'm ha really happy with how it works and comes across in the story. Um, so that was one. And then the other was showing variations of rage. <laughs> because the guy's got a lot of rage in him. And rage is the emotion that I think propels the most activity mm -hmm. in us. But he had rage against his circumstance. He had rage against his ticking clock about how long he's supposed to live. He has rage against the government. He has rage about, you know, probably rage at God. Uh, um, and so his rage at his friends who are isolating him and abandoning him. Different forms of rage to show variation in those.